So we are on the last section of our Async Apex Trailhead Monitor Async Apex. So how can we monitor the asynchronous jobs? Let's go ahead and head to our playground. So this is our playground. I'm going to go to setup here. And on the setup, you can search for Apex Jobs. And over here is where we can monitor all our Apex jobs. So we have none right now, but that's where we monitor them. Okay, so that's one place where we can monitor it. And then you can also go to Apex batch jobs if you have run a batch job. So if I just search jobs here or oh, click here to go to the new batch jobs page there now you have this slider where you can actually change the time of the batch jobs you want to list pretty cool right so that's how you can monitor batch jobs and next is future jobs Future jobs can be monitored the same thing. Um, it should be on the jobs list. See, as you can see here, future jobs show up on the Apex jobs page like any other jobs. So it will show up here if you just run a future jobs. You want to try it one time? Let's run one future job. So if I run daily lead processor for example here right so daily lead processor implement schedule no let's run a future one a future one i think we have it's um you know what we have to take a look at our previous one if i go future methods here and just run one future methods that we have created. What is it called? Um, if I hit retake this challenge. Um, account processor. So that's the actual account processor here. So account processor, what is it going to do? It's just going to list of accounts, right? And then the method is count contacts. So if I just command E here, and I just want to run my account processor. So I'm gonna type account processor dot account contacts account IDs well this is the account IDs let's do a list here so a list of account account actually is the IDs right is the IDs account list equals let's just select everything select id from account there so we have account list now for account a from account list right oops list and then we are going to make a list of id here list of id account ids equals new list of id instantiate that 
and then you here um, account ids dot add a dot id so we're adding the id of this account we just select here and we are going to execute this boom so that would launch a future method now if i go back to my apex jobs here and just refresh the whole thing here there it's a future and it's just been completed right so that's how you can monitor future jobs and any other async apex job as well so let's move on so monitoring queue jobs with the flex queue the apex flex queue enables you to submit 100 batch jobs for execution so this is first in first out jobs are processed first in first out remember so it's in order for queue for epic apex flex queue so here you can also if i search apex um, flex queue monitor you can monitor apex flex queue over there all right so it's first in first out when system resources became become available the system picks up the next job from the top of the apex flex queue and moves it to the batch job queue so the system can process up to five queued or active jobs simul simultaneously for each organization okay and that's it so monitoring scheduled jobs you can uh, do a circle over here if you just run a scheduled job you get the job id and you can monitor it that way so if you're performing this query inside of the execute method of your schedulable class you can obtain the id of the current job by calling the get trigger id on the schedulable contact so schedulable contacts here and then you can call the circle here and get the trigger id like so okay so you can read the whole uh, the remaining um, codes on how to actually monitor schedulable it is very straightforward so we have the quiz here what type of jobs do not show up in the apex flex queue feature method it was mentioned here um, here feature jobs show up on the apex job page like any other jobs however feature jobs are not part of the flex queue currently so future method is not going to show up in apple apex flex queue which statement is true true regarding flex queue 200 is incorrect because it's 100 jobs are processed first in first out that's it get the 100 point woohoo we just finished the whole trail section bada bing bada boom i'll see you on the next section Thank you. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.